For Justin Trudeau, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And I know this sounds very repetitive because it seems like every other day I have a polling update. However, Nanos just released their poll on Friday showing that the Liberals and the NDP are virtually tied in the popular uh, race. And then it was modeled out in terms of their actual seats. And you guys got to see this. So the Conservatives would be at, this again, this is from Trudeau's buddy, Nick Nanos. Right? There's a lot of people on X right now saying that Nick Nanos is like, he's some buddies with Pierre Paul. Yeah, no, no, it's the opposite. He's buddies with Trudeau. And it looks like even his own buddy knows that Trudeau is in big trouble because he's got the Conservatives at 219 seats, the NDP at 52 seats. I don't know about that. The Bloc at 37 and the Liberals at 33 seats. I don't think that this is completely accurate with the NDPs. I do think the Conservatives are going to get more. I actually think the Bloc is going to get more than 37. So I can see the NDP maybe beating up the Liberals, but I don't see them beating up the Liberals and the Bloc getting over 50 seats. However, this does show you that Justin Trudeau is even even more bigger trouble than most of us thought. A lot of people are worried that, you know, this is going to be close and, you know, what are we going to do if Justin Trudeau finds a way to hold on? He's done. Again, do not get complacent. Get out and vote. Let's just take this as, hey, it's tied 0-0 right now. For sure. But from a commentator's standpoint, what's Trudeau's path here? Right, like, like, let's look at the map here. So you've got a little bit of red in Toronto. So, okay, it looks like he's going to hold on a couple seats there. Some in Ottawa, some in Montreal, some in the Maritimes. But other than that, a few seats west of Quebec, like less than 10. If he's not going to win that many seats in Ontario, it's over. If, he's, if they're only going to win 33 seats, yeah, it's very well possible that they come in fourth place. Now, in this scenario, the NDP would be the official opposition. But I'll be honest, again, I do not think they're going to come even close to that. I think the Bloc's going to pick up a lot of those seats. And I think the Conservatives, again, are going to get closer to 250. Maybe not quite 250, but I really do think they're going to, they're going to just blow this thing right out of the water. And every other party in this country is going to be shell-shocked. Just like they deserve. And then you're going to see the Bloc be the official opposition. With Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh sitting in the corner as the third and fourth place parties. But again, 33 seats, 52 seats, still way too many. There's still a lot of people in this country who still don't get what's really going on. They don't understand how corrupt Justin Trudeau is or how corrupt Jagmeet Singh is. That's why they work together. Corruption works well with corruption. That's why they signed that coalition. And now that Jagmeet Singh's trying to distance himself from Justin Trudeau, it seems to be working a little bit in terms of his numbers going up, but 52 seats, that's way too high. 33 seats, again, it's too much, but that would mean, I believe that that would be the worst performance they've ever had, at least in recent history. I know Ignatiev in 2011 got 34 seats, so this is just worse than that. I have a feeling he might even be, I don't know if he'll hit 30, and I also don't think the NDP is going to hit 30. I think the block's going to get well above 40, and that conservative number is going to go up and up and up. That being said, even Nick Nanos is showing that the Justin Trudeau-led liberals are not only hitting new lows, are not only in big trouble, but their path is done. They don't have a path. People are maybe worried about election interference. It, they, it's not even... You can only do that if it's close. And even then, I'm not saying... They're going to do it, but even if they wanted to, it, it's just, it's too big to rig. They can't do it. It's not even close. The Liberals are going to lose, in this model, 127 seats. Even if they somehow get it together a little bit and rally at the end, they're still going to lose over 100. There's no way around it. There's too many seats. There's too many ridings in this in this country that have either left and went to the NDP, but most have gone back to the Conservatives. And I, for one, think that's great news. I think it's deserved. Every time I watch Question Period, I'm sure you guys feel the same way. They just get up and they just make ridiculous statements, projection by confession. Sorry, confession by projection. Oh, the Conservatives are coming after our rights and all this stupid nonsense. It's just complete nonsense. Everything they say that comes out of their mouth is an absolute lie. 
It's an absolute lie. They don't care about the country. They think everyone else is evil. They're projecting that onto everyone else. Meanwhile, it's truly that it's actually them who's truly evil. Thankfully, based off of every poll we're seeing, Canadians are waking up to this. There isn't one single poll. You can go check all of them. Nanos, Abacus, Angus Reid, Main Street, any of them. Not one is showing the Liberals over 25%. What's their path? You're going to tell me all these Liberals are just going to come out of the woodworks and just start voting for Justin Trudeau? People are tired of him. Even people who are liberal, a lot of them, are tired of him. They may not vote for Pierre Polyev. They may not want to vote for Jagmeet Singh. They might just stay home. And you know what? That's just fine with me. Just pretend it's COVID again, right? Oh, don't vote. You'll get sick. Just, just pretend it's COVID. Stay home on election night. It's okay. You don't have to vote. Contribute to this being the most embarrassing turnout, the most embarrassing numbers the liberals have seen in a very, very, very long time, if not ever. I think we can all do our part and contribute to that, and I think we would all really enjoy that as well. At least I would, and I know a lot of you would too. But let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think this poll is the most accurate poll we've ever seen? Do you think that it's the that the conservatives are going to get you know more than two hundred nineteen seats? What about this number here for the NDP? You really think they're going to get fifty two? I have a feeling they won't. But again, let me know what you guys think, and also please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.